everyone! It's Tara with the Cedar Rapids Public Library, and today will be the first video in a series where I do some reader's advisory for you using the library's database called Tumble Books. Um, Tumble Books is a database of animated ebooks for kids. Today I will be focusing on the storybook section in Tumble Books. So let me first help you navigate to the Tumble Books resource. So if you go to our library website called crlibrary.org and then click on the resources and services tab. Okay, and then you are going to navigate down and click on tumble books here. And that's how you get to this main page. Um, tumble Books is a great resource for parents to use with their kids to keep them reading during this break from school. It also has some educational games and National Geographic videos on here that you can find through these tabs. So lots of, of good stuff to look through. If you have any trouble using Tumble Books, you can always refer to my tutorial video that was posted on the library's Facebook page last week. So let's get started. So let's look at this Storybooks tab. Okay, and I'm going to go through my um, list of suggested books in order of reading level. So we're going to start with the most basic. So go ahead and click on View All Titles and click on page two, and then we are going to find the book called Duck Rabbit. So Duck Rabbit is by author Amy Krauss Rosenthal, and it's a storybook that uses um, an animal optical illusion. So there are two narrators in this book. One that believes that the animal is a duck, and the other one that believes it is a rabbit. Um, so you can ask your child which one they think it is. And if your child is practicing reading independently, each of you can take the lines of one of the narrators and read through this book together. Next, let's look at a book called Wiggle by Doreen Cronin. So if you click on page 7, then you'll see it here. Um, do you have perhaps any wiggle worms at your house currently? Um, get, this, get those wiggles out with this silly rhyming picture book. If you enjoy this tumble book, Doreen Cronin has several more to choose from on this site. So this is kind of a fun interactive ebook that you can wiggle along with. Along with. Um, if you click the author's name on the title summary page, you can see them all. So let's do that. So you'll see she has her diary of a worm or a spider books, as well as others. But let's nav navigate back. Okay, let's look at one called Ish by Peter Reynolds. Let's see if it's on page three. Should be, oh, here it is. So Ish follows the story of Raymond, who is a little boy who loves drawing and being creative. But a negative comment from his older brother makes him sad and feel like not drawing anymore. So Raymond crumples up all of his art. Unbeknownst to him, his little sister Marisol has been saving all of his discarded art and displaying it in her room. Marisol helps him see his art in a new light and start enjoying drawing again. So I really liked the positive message in this book. Um, it's a great read to help teach your kids resilience in the face of bullying, and also a great reminder for us as adults to reframe how we look at our own work and creativity. So this one is by Peter H. Reynolds. Let's look at another one called I Love Saturdays and E. Domingos. This is a cultural pick, and it's about a little girl who enjoys visiting her two sets of grandparents on the weekends. On Saturday, she visits her European-American grandparents, and on Sundays, her Mexican-American grandparents. So this picture book contains various words in Spanish, including some basic number and animal words, so it's a great introduction to Spanish for your kiddos, or if they already know some Spanish, it's a great way to, um, it's a great refresher and a great way to practice. Um, and it is bilingual, so it has some words in Spanish, and most of the text is in English. I also appreciated the opportunity for learning about a different culture, and that the book reinforces the idea that different people and different cultures have different, way of, different ways of doing things, but that's part of what makes our lives fun and interesting. So this one is by Alma Flor Ada. 
All right, let's look at my last pick, which is called Good Night, Good Night Construction Site. I bet this title is familiar to some of you. This is by Sherry Ranker. So as you can see, this would be a great book for little ones who are interested in vehicles and construction equipment. The moving illustrations of the vehicles are charming, and each vehicle is named and described, and then it is um, covered as it slowly winds down for bed. So a great read to include as part of your own bedtime routine. All right, so if you are interested in more resources that have educational content for your kids, you can check out Hoopla, which has ebooks for kids, and Canopy, which has some digital streaming source resources for kids, such as some popular um, educational videos and series, TV series that they might enjoy. Well, thank you for watching. Um, and if, as always, if you have any questions about the our resources or if you're having any trouble using Tumble Books, feel free to leave a comment or to call us. We are still taking um, phone, taking and answering phone calls. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.